good meow. Good meow. Let's try that again. Good morning, dear church. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but um, more and more, I really love getting my sleep. <laughs> I know. I mean, a good night's rest is one of those things that when it strikes us, it's just so satisfying, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. And so I try as hard as I can these days to make sure that I'll get the best sleep ever, every night. <laughs> just so. And when inevitably those bouts of insomnia strike, it's all the harder to function, right? I feel like laying there at night when anxiety creeps in, and I just got that list running in my mind, and I'm already anticipating being sleepy the next day, and it's sleepier, but I can't quite fall asleep. It's just an unending cycle. And so perhaps when we hear this word of the gospel today, stay awake, we take it to heart, not literally staying awake as long as possible and trying to somehow stronghold our way through life and never take rest, but to rather receive this as a metaphor for us to stay awake, to remain attentive, to watch for the Messiah, the one who is soon coming into the world, who will bring that reign of God, that kingdom of heaven, whatever language we append to that, that brings heaven to earth and restores right relationship to all things, us included. For this is where this new season of the church year lands us today. Advent, week one, looking ahead to what God will indeed do in that soon coming life of the Messiah. This is one of the reasons I love this season so deeply. Because on the one hand, it's honest about our world, about our yearning for things to be made right. But then it, all, it also injects some hope into that equation, saying, yes, we know things are not right, but God is coming and will make things right and bring that deliverance we all need. For indeed, very soon, as Isaiah proclaims for us, God will teach us what it means to learn war no more, to turn our weapons into gardening tools. And soon, as Paul's letter to the Romans proclaims, God's warming light will draw us all into that salvation, that saving power that God is bringing. All will be made new. And soon also, as the larger arc of Matthew's gospel testifies, we will be set free from our fears of scarcity. And we will know that there is enough for all. And yet as easy as it is to just stay in bed, get a few more precious minutes of sleep, that's not what Advent calls for. No, Advent calls us out. Out of our beds, out of our resting, out of our places of familiarity, so that we might be ready to together join with Christ in this transformative, world-changing work that is happening sooner rather than later. So keep awake, dear people, for God's reign is indeed knocking at the door.